objective of the thesis is to, un to calculate intellectual capital in Mauritius. Why intellectual capital? Because so far we don't have any indicators of intellectual capital in Mauritius. We tend to rely on the school enrollment rate, on the human development index, or the, on the proportion of government expenditure devoted to human capital. So we've adopted uh, the VAIC index to calculate intellectual capital in Mauritius. We've also tested for the impact of intellectual capital on financial performance. We've used a sample of 152 companies, including the top 100 companies, companies listed on the stock exchange of Mauritius, as well as a sample of three, four, and five stars hotels in Mauritius. We've divided our samples into four groups, the commerce sector, the industrial sector, the financial sector, and the hospitality sector. We've adopted a dynamic methodology, that is the PIVOR model, to analyze that relationship between uh, intellectual capital and financial performance. Overall, what our result revealed is over the time period 2007 to 2017, intellectual capital has been increasing in Mauritius. And that same period corresponds to the move towards a knowledge-based economy and therefore justifying why we need to value uh, intangible asset. We've also seen that intellectual capital is significantly and positively impacting on financial performance, irrespective of the sectors in which the companies operate. But the most significant results was obtained for the financial sector in Mauritius. So some of the main policy implications of this study is the government, the policymakers should lay more emphasis on the human capital in Maurice. L'île Maurice a été bâtie sur une société esclavagiste en deux siècles et malgré l'abolition de l'esclavage qu'il y a eu depuis 1835, les séquelles, les problèmes de l'esclavage sont toujours présents. L'esclavage est un crime reconnu en France à travers la loi Taubira depuis 2001. Les Nations Unies en 2001 ont reconnu l'esclavage comme un crime contre l'humanité en ajoutant la traite négrière. Et à l'île Maurice, en 2003, l'Assemblée nationale a adopté une motion privée décrétant l'esclavage et l'engagisme comme, le comme crime contre l'humanité. Et à Maurice, on a le 1er février qui est jour férié pour commémorer l'abolition de l'esclavage et le 2 novembre pour la, la fin de l'engagisme à Maurice. Et aussi en 2011, on a eu une commission qui s'appelait de la Commission Vérité et Justice, qui a travaillé sur les séquelles de l'esclavage dans le contexte mauricien. Et les conclusions de cette commission sont que les séquelles de, du crime de l'esclavage sont toujours présentes et qu'elle a fait des propositions, 290 recommandations, pour pallier au système de l'esclavage. Donc l'intérêt de, de ce sujet, c'est qu'il est possible d'intégrer la réparation, de procéder à la réparation, tout en se basant sur les recommandations de la Commission de vérité et justice qui a émis ses rapports en 2011. Among the several research projects that we've carried out, one of them looks at the factors that influence people to choose the Metro Express. As you might be aware, the Metro is a very big project, probably the biggest project Mauritius has received so far. Now what we've done, it's a research funded by the University of Mauritius and in that research we've actually looked at the factors that would influence people to shift from cars and from buses to metro to go to work. Now obviously to achieve the objective of this research we did surveys, we did surveys with local people, we did surveys with bus users, we did surveys with, with car users to look at what would encourage and at the same time what will discourage them to shift to Metro Express to go to work. Uh, in fact in our research uh, we look at a specific model so we, we made use of our theories like the, the theory of material possession and theory of, of plant behavior to look at specific determinants of intention of travelers in Mauritius. So we found that for car users the main determinant or one of the main determinants was status level or the extent to which car users identify with their car as a status symbol. So one of the main recommendations of the project, therefore, is that we need to have educational campaign. We need to change the mindset. So what we see in those um, other economies, other countries, people from different societal economic background, 
um, they make use of a public transport mean of the, of the metro um, in both countries. Coming to best uses, as expected, we do find that they are more likely to switch from uh, using the bus as a main transportation mean to the metro. The main determinant here is the distance they have to travel from their home, where they stay, to the metro station. And therefore what we recommend, and that would be super important for, 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 for the effectiveness of a metro project, is that we have a proper feeder system, like a, a, a shuttle service. So these are things that we really need to consider if we really want the metro to be effective.